do you, like me, have too many shoes in your closet but still manage to buy some shoes? You know what? This video is made for you. Today, we are going to build the perfect shoe e-commerce using only the Odoo website builder. Hello and welcome to the web design session. My name is Amandine and I'm a web designer here at Odoo. As I'm in real life passionate about fashion, I created a fictional company called Kix and our goal is to sell you the trendiest sneakers. The goal of this video is to design a Polish professional website using only the Odoo website builder. And I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks to add some design touches to your website and make it stand out. Our agenda for today will be this one. The first point will be about branding. The second point will be choosing the great images. The third point will be to how to organize your information. And last but not least, the wow effect where we will talk about magics. One of the most important things regarding a website it is its identity and branding. It's in this step that you will create your own identity and your own branding for your website. The first thing to do is the logo. For my shoe e-commerce, I want it to reflect an urban style for my logo. So I choose a bold and kind of impactful font. I also wanted to have the idea of movement as it's a shoe e-commerce. The next step will be choosing your font. For example, if you have a very serious website, like a lawyer office, for example, I would not recommend a childish font. Again, for my shoe e-commerce, I want a kind of urban uh, style font. The first thing to do is to go to Google font because the website builder Odoo only accept Google font. So when you go to Google font, you have millions of free to use font to use. But for me, I want, like I said, a bold and impactful font. So this one, I think it fits ni nicely to my branding. So you have all you have to do is copy and paste the URL of the font. You go to your website, you go to edit. Then you have to go to the theme option. If you go there, you will have font family. You click on the little arrow. And as it's the font for my headings, I will just add Google font for my headings. I paste it. I save. It will reload. OK, so you see that it will it added automatically my font to all the headings. But now I want to find a font for my text. So the next thing to do is to go back to Google font and you have to search for a font that goes together with the font you have for your titles. You also have websites that can help you like font pairing, for, for example. You can find this in the description below. But for me, I want this font because I think they go really nice together. Up. Same same ID, you copy, you go to edit, you go to the theme, and then you go to font family, and then you can add the font family for the text. Oops. And then we are done. Also, I will I will recommend you to choose maximum of two fonts. Because if you have too many fonts, it will be confusing and we have too much information. So keep like two fonts, one for your heading and one for your title, like we did for this one. So I will save it. Next, next step will be choosing the color palette. For this, again, you have like a lot of options online to help you find a consistent color palette. For me, I like this website because it's color adopt, because it creates you color palette that are consist consistent. You can play around with this one. And for my website, I wanted to an orange because as it's an urban street style, I want like urban style, but I also want a pop of bright color. Th and I think the orange goes nicely with the black of my logo. So again, you can copy the um, hexadecimal. You go to the edit button. You go to the theming tab and then you have theme colors. You have l uh, kind of five little dots and this will help you find your color setting. So the first one, I can go there, I can copy it, and then you will see the magic happens. It changes automatically my colors. So I have my orange, but I want a secondary color. For this, I want a little kind of uh, lighter oranges. So again, I copy it. You go to your website, you go to the third one, you paste it. 
and you're done. Another cool feature about Odoo is that when you select your theme colors, it will automatically generate you five color settings that, that you can use and play around with your website. So for example, you can see that you have your color palette here and you can play around uh, also. And you can also, if you don't like the settings of your col color palettes, of your automatically generated color palette, you can also change the color for each color palette. Okay, so now that you have the correct theme and ambience to your website, it's time to choose some images. It's not difficult. For my shoe e-commerce, I want picture of shoes. Of course, I have a lot of shoes in my closet, but I don't have enough professional looking photo because for our e-commerce, we want professional photo. For this, it's easy. You go to the Odoo website builder and if you don't have professional looking pictures, you can also uh, use Unsplash. It's integrated in the website builder and you can always find, uh, click, do a little search and choose and it will propose you a lot of million uh, free to use picture to use for your website. So easy as that to add pictures to your website and to, uh, to my website because it's really important for your SEO ranking. So in your text, you can see that I added a lot of time the word sneakers or shop. So let's now let's uh, review the structure deeply in our website. So the first block, okay, we have our title, we have our subtitle, uh, our intro, but then you we have what we call a call to action. This also is really important for your website because this is what the main focus of your website is about. So for my website, the main focus is to buy some shoes and to sell some shoes. So check out our amazing shoe, amazing collection, so it will be better. Then we, we edit the link and we go, yes, like that. We go for the shop page. Perfect. We also want to edit the images. Yes, cancel. Up, we can add, yeah, this one, this one, nice. Then w I will add a little title, but another cool feature about Odoo is that everything is interconnected. So this will be automatically displaying your webs your products that are available in your e-commerce. So, but for this, as we can see on, on, my, on my title, I want to display only the new arrivals. So for this one, I go to the filter and then you can see that you, I, I could also say the recently sold, but I want the newest product. Nice. Okay. Then another feature about Odoo is the grid mode. It's a new feature in the V16 ver version that will can allow you to display and arrange blocks totally differently. Because this, I don't like it. I'd, I would like to have my title just right here. Uh, my text just right here and my title on the left. So for this, easy, you select your block, you click on the grid mode, and then you can add elements. I want to add text. Kay. I want to display it correctly. So I want it, yes, on the right. I can just easily copy paste my, my text. Then I will add oops, a little bit bigger. Then I will have my little link, check our collection. To add a link, same way, it's easy. You select your text, you go to the link, and then you type your uh, URL. So let's go for shop page. What you could also do, kind of little tips and tricks, you can also add a little image on your li link and have a little arrow. Cool, so I don't need this block anymore. You can select it. Okay, so for this one, I, I think it's look it looks okay, but for this, I want also to uh, display our newest product, mm, products. And for this, I want to show my e-commerce category. But I don't want a plain three column like men, women, and etc. I want a nice one. So let's let's make it happening. So I will 
I only have four e-commerce category, so I don't need this one. Let's make it a little bit bigger, like that. This one, we can make it also a little bit bigger. I want up, yeah. Let's make it better, like this. Up. Okay, but now let's see how we can feature our different collection. So let's add, for example, we can add a text here, like uh, men. That will display our men section. We can make it heading three. We can add a little link that display the men category. Up. We can change the color like this and we can add an image on the background. For this, you see the background, you have the little camera here and you can display an image. Let's go for this picture. Nice. Now, le now let's do the same thing for the other category. Okay, now I want the woman section. Same, we can add little woman category. Perfect. Let's change the color of the link. Nice. And again, let's add an image. Yeah, this, this is cool. And same thing for the third one. For this, I want to display the kids category. Oops, you add your links. Yes, perfect. The background, you see that you can also choose just plain color for the background. The kids shoe, but I think it lacks, it lacks a little bit of breathing. So for this, I will just add some borders like, mm, let's say 10 pixel. And then you can just select the white colors and you do this for all the, all the blocks. 10 pixel, white, 10 pixel, and then white. I like it, but I think it lacks a little bit of contrast. You see that the text doesn't, doesn't look good on this one. For this, easy you can just add a little filter. So you do this and you can select a little, little filter to add some contrast and enhance the readability of your website. Up. All right. For this, the best seller part, then the next section will be the best selli selling uh, shoes. And it's the same way as the um, previous carousel, uh, product carousel, but just so that I can show you that you have different templates available for the product uh, slider. But for this, I, I want best selling shoes. So what you could do I is you could add the recently sold picture or you could just add a little tag here, like best selling. Up. and then it will display only the best selling. For this, you also have the, to go on the back end of Odoo and add this product tag to your products, so it will display it here. N the last one is newsletter. Why do we have a, a newsletter on our website? Is to advise our customers about our best deals or about our latest drop or also about our sales. Again, Odoo is inter in interconnected. So you can just set up your email marketing, you can set up your newsletter, and then when the people wi will subscribe to your newsletter, it will, o it will automatically send them your newsletter. Um, you just have to install uh, the email marketing app. But for me, I already did it. But this block, I think it's a little bit boring. I don't want just the plain newsletter. So again, I can change it to grid mode. I can add a uh, little images. Let's display the image on the right, but I don't want to fit on the container. I want the image to go on full size mode. So let's select the little option here. 
we can shall change the image yeah let's go for this one then you just the same way as we did before you select your little right section you do this but you can see that i don't want this pad this padding i don't want the spacing just right above so i can remove it there but i still have a little bit of white border so for this you just remove your padding like that you have the padding here all right so yeah i think i think it looks okay for now we can maybe check the wow effect after that okay so now i have all my information but i think my website is a little bit plain and boring so now let's add some magic and the wow effect to my website for this we have different solution the first one will be to add some spacing because i like it but i think everything is a little bit too much compressed so let's add some spacing uh yeah this one is okay this you see it's kind of too much too much too less spacing let's add for this block also yes like this like this okay uh, and this one i can add a little bit more also so spacing is really important for your website because if you have everything is lo li a little bit too much uh, compressed you your website will not feel uh, not give the feeling of a breathable website of a nice design and polished website so now that we have some spacing that our website looks a little bit better the next solution will be to apply some shapes on Odoo, you have a different variety of shapes. This is a cool feature, but I would advise you to use it very carefully because this option could backfire. Because if you add too many shapes to different kind of shapes, it can be too too much information. For my, for my e-commerce website, I want like uh, little shapes like graffiti you can find on urban uh, kind of urban. Uh, style so for this I can go to the shape option and I can search some cool shapes so this one this one looks better can add a little bit of spacing to, to view the shape entirely but I don't want the shape on the right side I want it on the left side so you have the flip option you could also flip it like that but for me I want it placed like that and as it's a graffiti, I want really bright image, br bright color. So this this nice. Uh, let's add one on this one also. Again, I want like a pop of color, like a splash of paint. I can go on the blobs to keep the consistency and to have the same uh, feeling. Yeah, I think this this could this looks kind of nice. Again, let's add some spacing so we can view the shape entirely. And let's apply the color of my website. So, right. But this, I think it's too much, uh, too not, not nice enough. So we can also add a little shape on just on the image. So you have the background shape, which is this one, and you have the image shapes, wi shape, which is this one. To apply some image shape, you select the image, and then you have the shape, and then you can select shape. And the cool thing is that some of the shape in Odoo are animated. Mm, not this one. Maybe let's go for not this one. Uh, yes, this is the one I want. And it's animated. So again, it's just a little bit more we can also just add a little bit of sizing to my headings can change the color and a little bit of spacing you can see that in two or three steps i have a more design website okay so now we have shapes we have colors but what we lack is animation Again, in V16 Odoo, we have another new cool feature, which is called animation on scroll. 
to apply your animation at, on scroll. Again, it's really easy. And then you could just select your blocks like this. And you have the animation. You open the tab animation you have on appearance or on scroll. So now I have an uh, animation on scroll, but this is not the one I want. What I want is my, my title to slide a little bit on the left when I arrive on my website. So let's select slide, not from the right, but from the left. Yeah, this is a little bit too fast for me. I want a subtle animation. So for this, I just can just select a little bit less of intensity. Now let's apply that to all my titles. This one is a little bit big. You have animation on scroll. You can add slide in from the left, a little bit less intensity. Okay. And the last one will be this one. Sometimes to apply an animation on just one element, you have to select the grid mode to apply it. Yes. Again, on scroll, slide from the left, a little bit of intensity. Okay, this this is cool. This is cool. When I scroll, I see my title slide from the left. What I can also do is maybe add a little bit animation on this one. For this, we can select just the not on appearance on scroll again, but we want a little bit, a little fade in. Yes, like this. In place, and let's add on scroll to fade. Uh, yes, and animation on scroll fade. Yes, nice, right? Okay, so now that we have our website, we can we can say, yeah, I think I think it looks it looks really cool, don't you think? So now we are ready to sell some sneakers with my beautiful, clear, and easy to use website. You want to know the best part? If you want to do the same, Odoo is completely free to use for one application. Here I created an e-commerce, but you could also create a blog, event, or an e-learning platform. But I think now it's time to buy some shoes. Okay, so for this, it's easy. You go to the shop page. You have all the products available. You also have the different categories and filters. You select the one that you like. I like this one. I don't have it on my collection already, so I, uh, I like it. You select your size. I'm 39. You add it to your cart. Then you go to your cart. You can al always update the quantity if you want, but I think one is enough for now. You process to your checkout. I already filled my information as I'm a Kicks addict and I already bought some shoes on Kicks. Then I click on the pay button. It's loading. And easy as that to buy some shoes on an Odoo e-commerce website. Wait a minute. I have a package for you. Thanks. That was fast. Ooh, nice. Thanks for listening to this video. You can also Check the description below to find all the links and information you are looking for. You could also give us some feedback and comments in the description and ask us uh, next business sector you want us to do on the web design session. And last, you can also hit the subscribe button for more web design session videos. Thank you.